hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to do about the latest version of linux mint version 21.2 and windows this works either you're using windows 11 or windows 10 you should be able to do about windows with linux mint now the first thing you have to do is download linux mint iso file and to do that head to your chrome browser and then search for linux mint now you can see the first page which heads to linuxmint.com click on it and then click on the download button on the screen and it will take you down here so you can see different desktop environments of linux mint this is the cinnamon they also have the mint edition and the xface edition now they all work great but it all depends on the desktop environment you prefer in this case we are using the cinnamon edition so just click on download and Scroll down here and then select one of the mirror servers over here and it should start downloading. Now I already have this file downloaded so I'm not really going to download again but make sure you download the ISO file which we are going to use for the installation. And then after downloading Linux Mint ISO we also need to download a tool which we are going to use to create a bootable disk and this tool is called Rufus. So search for Rufus. You can see the first page which heads to rufus.ie so click on it and then scroll down click on the latest version of rufus over here and it should start downloading after downloading rufus and linux mains we can close our browser and then open our download folder so here we go you can see this is rufus and this is linux mint first let's open rufus and here we go now you can see a section called device which you can't currently select now we need at least 4 gigabyte flash drive which we're going to use to create a bootable disk now in my case i have a 16 gig pen drive which i'm going to use so i'm just going to connect the flash drive to my pc okay so you can see over here this is my flash drive with 16 gigabyte you can also see the boot selection which is set to disk or iso image leave it that way and then click on select over here now we have to choose our linux mint iso file we downloaded so i'm going to select it here open and then i'm going to change the partition scheme to gpt since we are using uefi to boot but then if your system only supports legacy then you should select mbru and then you can go with bios or uefi but in this case I'm going with GPT and that should be fine. Now we can just click on start and it should start creating a bootable disk with our flash drive right in ISO image mode which is recommended OK. And then OK to start writing data to this flash drive. Now while this is running we have to prepare the destination where we want to install Linux Mint. Now let's head to our search bar and then search for partition. Now you can see create and format hard disk partitions click on it now you can see this is disk management and you're going to see the list of all drives currently on your pc okay so let me open my file explorer now you can see i have disk zero which has a partition called studio and right here this is studio with drive letter f i also have this is an efi partition which is required for windows to run this 16 megabyte unallocated then my c drive is my main drive currently running windows and you can see 5 gigabytes free space which is not enough and then we also have a healthy partition right here for disk one this is running manjaro and i mounted it that's why it's not showing in my file explorer which is okay and then for disk two we have a backup drive with 305 gigabytes which you can see over here and we also have another volume new volume with 160 gigabytes which you can see here as well so you have to make up your mind where you want to install linux mint now if you have just one drive in your pc then you just have to create a new partition from that drive where we can install linux mint so let's say for example new volume g right here new volume g is our only drive and then we want to create a partition to install linux mint what we'll do is first right click on it and then click on shrink volume now we set how much volume of this drive we want to shrink so let's say i want to shrink 100 
um, gigabytes and then click on shrink now you can see an unallocated space with 100 gigabytes and this is where we want to install Linux Mint now we can just leave it this way as a free space and I remember the size because this is where we're going to be installing Linux Mint so we can close this and then wait for the bootable disk to successfully finish writing now we can click on close and then restart our PC to boot into the bootable disk first you have to boot into your BIOS by holding F9 or F12 on your keyboard and then select your pen drive hit enter Click on Install Linux Mint on your screen. Now select the language for the installation and then continue. Set your keyboard layout and continue. Select Install Multimedia Codex and continue. Now there are three ways to install. We can either install alongside Windows directly or erase the disk and install Linux Mint. We want to create the partition manually by ourselves so we are selecting something else and then continue. Now locate the space we partitioned earlier. So if we scroll down you can see 106,000 megabytes which is 100 gigabytes which we partitioned earlier. Now we are going to erase that as a free space. So click on minus by the side over here and it is going to erase that partition as a free space then we can make use of it so if you screw down you can see a free space of 100 gigabytes which you can see label as free space now we are going to create new partitions with this free space so to do that click on the plus icon by the side first we are going to create the root partition now set it to logical and then we are going to give it about 20 gigabytes. You shouldn't give anything less than 15 gigabytes. This is where our drivers are running from. Make sure mount point is set to slash which is our root and then click on OK. Next is our swap disk which is actually optional. Now if your RAM is less than 2 gig then your swap disk should be double of your RAM. If your RAM is more than 8 gig then you should give half of the size of your RAM. My PC is 16GB, so I'm giving it 8GB. Set the users as swap area. And then make sure you set it to logical and then hit OK. And lastly, we have to create our home partition. And this is where everything else will be stored. Your files, your documents and everything else. So allocate the remaining space to your home partition set the mount points to home and then click on ok and we are done we can begin the installation and then click on install now continue now set your time zone and then continue enter a username and password which you're going to use to access this machine continue and it should start installing this may take a while probably about 15 minutes it all depends on your pc hardware but you just have to wait this took about 15 minutes i think and we are done with the installation now you should see a prompt on your screen to restart click on restart now Now log in with your password and that's all. So basically this is how to install the latest version of Linux Mint dual boot alongside your Windows operating system. If this video was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.